Big win today for One Nation leader Pauline Hanson, who really has had trouble finding good men for a party. She's won an appeal against a court judgment last year that told her to pay $250,000 to one of her former senators, Brian Burston, who she'd accused of sexually abusing a female colleague. But the full court of the federal court today junked that decision. Uh, it said the judge last year got it wrong. Uh, Burston could have been said to have sexually abused a staffer, given the multiple instances of his unwanted physical touching of her, his kissing her on the cheeks and on the lips and putting money down her top or trying to, and sexually propositioning her and more. And also, by the way, because of their power imbalance. In fact, I'm amazed at the first judge found against Hanson. What does that say? But I ask again, how come Hanson picked so many men who let her down? including former Federal Le Labor leader Mark Latham, who she's now had to sack as the New South Wales leader of One Nation for posting vile abuse of a, uh, a gay politician uh, and also for performing bad and refusing even to talk to Hanson. Joining me is another Queenslander, National Senator Matt Canavan, the former Resources Minister. Matt Canavan, uh, just quickly before we get on to your real expertise, why is it that Hanson keeps getting dudded by some of the men she picks for a party, and this goes back years, of course, to people like David Oldfield who seem to think that he was her, he was the real boss. Look, Andrew, I don't know, and, and I don't know enough about the um, internal workings of uh, One Nation. I, I do want to say I do, I do like Pauline. Uh, I especially respect her resilience uh, uh, to still be going after many decades of uh, suffering vicious attacks by especially the left-wing media. You've got to respect that. Uh, I think the fact, uh, fact is, though, her party, for whatever reason, hasn't been able to outgrow her own shadow. Uh, you know, she is still yep. the dominant yep. force within it. And I, I dare say I don't know enough about their internal workings, but it doesn't seem like they, they have a, a, a broad-based uh, organisation um, uh, which uh, directs or controls things apart from just Pauline. Uh, and that's what often happens with minor parties based on one uh, person there. And look, I mean, I, I suppose I'll paraphrase Oscar Wilde. Ultimately, uh, you know, to lose or, or to have a have a bad experience with one or two men may may have been unfortunate, but uh, <laughs> for multiple times, ultimately, possibly it's carelessness. And 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 oh, you know, Pauline and her party has to be ultimately responsible for uh, the people they pick, the candidates they work with, and the outcomes that they eventually get. I just think a lot of it's male ego. You come in there and you think you know better than the woman. I think that's one of the real problems there.